Hi guys, it's Alex. So today I have an empties video for you. And I have them in this bag that I started using, I think, in my last one. These are just empties from last couple months. And I thought I would share my drink that I'm drinking today. Because I, when I make videos, I usually have something to drink. Normally it's water, but today I have iced lemonade. This is the Minute Maid lemonade one. And I put it in a fancy glass just for you, so... So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started and see what I went through. So the first thing is a Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Hairspray. This did an okay job of holding like my style. It wasn't a very strong hold even though it says ultra strong. Um, yeah, I would purchase it again. Right now I'm working on one by Ozzy. Um, that one's like has a very strong hold, makes my hair very stiff, but this one yeah, it has more of like a natural hold, so it worked okay. Second thing in here is a Snow Kiss Citrus Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. And this is from the Christmas line. I, yeah, there's still a little bit left in here. Smells pretty good. Um, I do like the deep cleansing ones better than the foaming ones. The foaming ones tend to dry out my hands. I think I probably got this during one of their sales. So that's usually the only time I buy their hand soaps. So yeah, that one worked good and I would buy those again, only in the like the deep cleansing one. I used up a whole box of Q-tips. As you can see, the kitty got a hold of the corners. He likes to bite things. So yeah, I go through a lot of Q-tips just for makeup, for cleaning my ears, whether you're supposed to or not, I do it anyway. But um, yeah, and these are strong. They don't really bend a lot when you're using them. So yeah, that's why I like this brand. I used up a Degree Motion Sense um, deodorant in sheer powder. This has been my go-to deodorant for quite a while, but recently I, I have a different one right now I'm working on, or a different scent, same brand. But it hasn't been working for me as well, so after I finish that, I'll probably switch to something else. But this had done like a really good job of keeping me dry and keeping away odors. Um, but yeah, I may have to switch it up, so. I have like one of my all-time favorite hand creams. This was the fresh picked hardworking hand cream from Bath and Body Works and it was in Sweet Clementine. Bath and Butter Works doesn't carry these anymore. This was a big size too, six, six ounce, 170 grams. And I used up every last bit of it that I could, as you can see. It looks like that because I squeezed it, I bent it, I did everything I could to get all of it out. It smells really, really authentic of um, like Clementine, like just, just a realistic um, scent of it and it worked nice it soaked into my hands really made them soft i don't know why they don't sell this anymore that really sucks but it retails for eight dollars i wish they would bring this back because i love it um i have something in here um called speed facial gel from select c this is like a scrub a scrubs um it's kind of complicated how you use it. You apply it to your skin dry and you let it sit and then after a while you rub it in to get like the enzymes in it, that, um, the enzymes in it to start working and you let it sit. And then um, just before it dries, you roll off the product because um, you're rolling off like the dead skin. And what I like about it is it like draws out like impurities from my skin, like all the blackheads and stuff. Um, I like to use this in combination, like after I use this, I like to use a mask right afterwards because that like really kills the blackheads on my skin. So this product is pretty amazing. I would use it like once a week or once every two weeks. Um, you can use it more often than that, but yeah, I was kind of lazy and didn't use it that often. I have another jar that I'm working on in my shower. I used up this amazing scent by Juicy. Couture Viva La Juicy. I even saved the box because it's just pretty and it's just a, like a 
sweet scent. I got like the miniature size bottle for $20 at Marshall's. It smells really nice, just a really girly, fun fragrance. I would buy this again. It's just, yeah, it's a really girly, playful scent. And so I used all that up, really liked it. I have a shower gel in Hill Vanilla Hill. Here, Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, this is just a really good scent. This is from Bath and Body Works, their Christmas line. Works really good, lathers well, don't need a lot. Um, yeah, I'm loving these. I'm working on a different scent by them right now. I have a pocket back in here from them. This is Pink Crazy Daisy, and I really like the little packaging um, design that they have when these came out. This says it smells like Tahitian palm milk. And I like their pocket backs because it does leave a fragrance on your hands. You, it, it's strong too, like it has a lot of alcohol in it. And you could like feel it, like your hands are, your hands feel clean after you use it. But I like how it, like the fragrance lingers on your skin. Um, I have a few candles in here. But first, I will go through just a couple more things. Lemon Flutter by Lush. I hate that I didn't finish this all up. This is cuticle butter, and it's probably disgusting when I open it. It just smells really kind of gross now, but it smells like lemon normally. But look at all that product that went to waste. That's really a shame. Um, at night, I would rub it into my fingers, but I just, yeah, I didn't keep a good habit of doing that and it expired February 2015. I used it for as long as I could even after the date but after a while like the texture changed and the smell changed and just couldn't be used so that's why it's in here but it's a nice product it works nicely it's very like oily but it like soaks in after a while I have a uh, wallflower in here, turquoise waters. This is one of my favorite scents by them. It's like a water beachy scent, smells amazing. Love that. And then I have a clear eyes for when my eyes get really dry. Um, this worked well. I think it expired, so that's why I had to throw it out. Make sure I'm in frame, even though there's a little bit left. Um, but yeah, that works well. And then I just have candles. So the first one is Watermelon Lemonade. This is one of my favorite scents. And um, yeah, now it's getting dust everywhere. It's um, a mix of watermelon and fresh squeezed Meyer lemons. Just, yeah, just one of my favorite scents. Love this one. I actually have a new one burning right now. Um, I have Mango Dragon Fruit. This is another sweet smelling one. Love the smell. Yeah, just nice mango smell, really good. And then I have in here pineapple palm grass. I didn't like this one so much. I don't know where the lid went, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't really like this scent as much, so I just don't think I would buy this again if they were to bring this scent out, so yeah. And then my last one is winter, and this was a really good one. Uh, and it's really dusty. It has like kind of a spicy smell to it. It's really nice. I would buy this one again. Um, yeah, winter citrus, pine needles, and white woods. Just, yeah, a really good one. So those are all of my empties. I'm sorry if this video, it was a little bit long, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I always keep a drink next to me because I get thirsty, of course, because of all the talking. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have a haul coming up soon. It's another thrift haul, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.